Hey, Mark Satterfield here. Thanks for joining me. Um, some people have asked why I decided to come back out of retirement and go back to work. Uh, and thought I'd uh, take a couple minutes and, and share that with you. I get, I, you know, there's probably two reasons um, that I can think of. There's probably more, but two main ones. Uh, number one is I got ridiculously bored. Uh, moved from Atlanta to Pinehurst, North Carolina. Absolutely beautiful place. Year number one and number two were phenomenal. We uh, you know, made some great new friends. We built a house. It was all new and exciting. Year number three, I really started to, quite frankly, get depressed. And I'm just not somebody who, who gets depressed. And uh, year four was uh, when, uh, when COVID hit. And uh, interestingly, COVID wound up to really be a silver lining for both Marion and myself because we decided to start a business. And we started an online business uh, called Create the Love of Your Life. And it was focused on changing your subconscious beliefs. Did, uh, did pretty well, it didn't, you know, wasn't a home run, but it was a, and is a, a good sustainable business. And what it did was it made me realize how much I really miss the, the marketing, the interaction with clients, this whole, you know, in, internet space that's been a part of my life for now 30 years. So uh, that was the catal one of the main catalysts for uh, going, uh, going back to work. The other one has to do with, uh, I suppose, this chair that, uh, that I'm sitting in. And this, you, you probably can't see it, um, but uh, this is my, uh, my, my dad's chair. And he had it in his office at, uh, at MIT where he was, uh, he was a professor. And dad passed away at the age of 89. And when he, uh, he passed away, he was actually working on the uh, third edition of his book, Mass Transfer and Heterogeneous Catalysis. And I can pronounce that, but I have really no clue as to, to what it's, it's all about. Aside from the fact that uh, he dedicated it to, uh, to me, my sister and, and mom, which was, which was cool. But the point being is that dad uh, really was very passionate about what he was doing. He really found this, uh, his work to be uh, something that uh, that kept him kept him going even after he officially retired from MIT, and and I think to a to a large extent that was also a role model, and I just couldn't see myself spending, you know, the next uh, thirty years or however long one one has, to uh, just uh, you know playing golf and doing leisure time activity. I'm yeah you know, no judgment. I mean that's that's fine for for other people, but uh, I really uh, I really miss the. Uh, the the interaction. So I'm glad to be back. Uh, for me, this is all a, you know, a heck of a lot of fun figuring out how do we, uh, how do we build campaigns that will uh, build credibility for those of us that are coaches, consultants, uh, experts, advisors. Uh, how can we use the, uh, the internet and social media to, uh, to, to spread the word? How can we build enormous goodwill within our niche? And then, of course, uh, hopefully having a, a percentage of that niche uh, decide that they'll be interested in talking with us about uh, about becoming uh, becoming clients and how do we all how do we do that in a way that is you know non salesy something that is consistent with your authentic voice and so those are the issues that that I work on not only for my own business but but also for for my clients so uh, anyway uh, that's the reason I have uh, I've decided to to start back up and and I'm thrilled to be doing so I've got a small team of of people that. Uh, help me, and uh, I, I value their their input uh, a, a great deal, and they've been enormously helpful to me and 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 to our clients. So, anyway, that's uh, that's all for today. Thanks for, uh, for for watching this, and I hope we have a chance to uh, to talk personally one of these days. But until then, bye for now.